Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. We are here at the Summit Midwest Drags. I'm joined by Corey Bull, and behind us is his 67 Nova with a 427 small block Chevy, and it's gonna be our engine of the week. Engine Builder's Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrade, Precision Performance Pengrade, always the original green oil. L-Ring DOS Original, leading technology, leading service. And NPW and Engine and Performance Warehouse, for all your parts needs. Corey, thanks so much for taking a little bit of time this morning uh, here on day two of the Midwest Drags. So walk us through your car and engine setup. Pretty sweet looking ride. Thanks. I know you know the number of people walking by are stopping, yeah. checking it out. Uh, if you would, walk us through what you got in here. Uh, Ohio crankshaft uh, built me a uh, 427 small block Chevy, long block. Straub Technologies out of Tennessee designed me a cam. It's hydraulic roller, got Morel uh, lifters. Okay. BES Racing, Bischoff. They CNC ported the heads and then threw a Victor Ram tunnel ram on it to give it that cool factor and it's backed up with a uh, G-Force four speed and a ram clutch. Okay, very good. And then you got the dual carburetors yep. up top. Two 650 Hollies done by ATM Innovation out of Bowling Green, Kentucky. Okay, and then uh, obviously the clear valve covers are uh, a nice little touch there. It's the, always cool to see the valve the, train at work. The clear valve covers are everybody's favorite. Yeah. You want to run through some of the other internals uh, that you got inside the small block? Yeah, it's a uh, four inch stroke, six inch rods. It's just got a flat top piston, 11 to one right now. Okay. And, and uh, who are you getting those, some of those parts from? Uh, Ohio Crankshaft. They, yeah, like I said, they assembled the whole long block. They're their own company. Gotcha. So everything, everything down to uh, push rods is Ohio Crankshaft. And then we've got uh, okay. comp cams, Pro Magnum roller rockers, stud girdle, uh, Doug's two inch primary headers, fender well headers. Yeah. And uh, tell the folks what class you're running in this week. Uh, right now I'm running in Gasser B and I'm currently in first place. All right. Happy about that. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about day one. How did it go for you out there? You know, obviously you're in first, so it went, went better than uh, the yeah. rest of the folks uh, in the class. But. Both my passes were awesome. Back to back, I did a 69, uh, 1069 and a 1068. 60 foot was the same. Uh, you know, with the humidity, I was happy with that. Yeah. How much horsepower are you guys getting uh, out of this? about 675 at the motor right now. Okay. And then uh, expectations going forward for the rest of the week. What what kind of times are you shooting for? You know, what, what's an ideal time in the quarter for you? Less humidity and I'm going to probably leave it a little bit higher RPM when we get closer to home. Yeah. I'd like to get back into the 1050s. Okay. It's been 1040 before, but uh, like I said, losing the 430 gears going to kind of hurt it a little bit. Yeah. And then I understand that Edgewater Motorsports Park is uh, is a home track for you. Yep. So uh, you know, we, start, we start there and end there. Yep. Edgewater Motorsports in Cleves, Ohio. That's the race place of Cincinnati, and that's my favorite place to race. Yeah. So. Yeah. Definitely a cool track, and uh, looking forward to being back there Friday. Corey, anything else we're leaving out about the small block Chevy here? No. I mean, I definitely don't cut any slack. I am harder on my car than anybody. I mean, the Ohio Crankshaft did a great job assembling it. Uh, we went through it again, you know, just to give it a once over. Everything still looked like new. And I mean, I'm, I'm bad about even doing maintenance to it and it just keeps on ticking. Yeah. So it's well, uh, they built a hell of a motor. It. Yeah. Now uh, let's talk a little bit about the Nova itself. Uh, you're out here with your dad, Carl. Yep. Uh, two man team this week. Yep. And uh, I understand you've owned the car for almost 12 years. I paid, paid 3000 bucks for the car. And when I was like 19, I just happened to have three grand and I sold a vehicle the day before yeah. and it was on uh, Craigslist back when that was a thing. Uh, got the car home. It was a six cylinder power glide, red with black interior. It was in really good shape. Yeah. Well, fast forward, you know, kids, a wife, my wife, Sarah, hi, <laughs> we had it on a rotisserie. I stripped it all down got it painted and then everything else pretty much happened at the house with me and my dad. Yeah. So that's awesome. I knew I knew I wanted a gasser from day one. I didn't expect it to be, you know, a mid 10 second street car, but it's been a hell of a ride. Yeah. Well, Corey, we appreciate you giving us some time to yeah, talk no this problem. morning. And uh, again, we wish you the best of luck the next couple of days. Uh, finish out Midwest Drag. So awesome. thank you. Thanks. Guys, we appreciate you watching. As always, check out Engine Builder for more engine content, and we'll see you next time.